Hey there guys, Vincent Rose here, H2G Fitness, coming to you from beyond the wheel of my car. I hope everybody's having an incredible day today. It's hump day, right? Wednesday, and it's 9.30 at the moment, and I'm out bopping around, running some errands, uh, because I don't do the whole morning traffic, rush hour thing anymore. Um, those would be days of the past, and I just choose to run errands now. I pretty much, I, I plan my day around avoiding rush hour right if I have to go out and do stuff you're not gonna catch me in traffic it's just not gonna happen I avoid it all together uh, but that's not the point of this video I wanted to record a really quick video for you guys and this is something that's come up more than once uh, it comes up quite frequently actually um, somebody will be eating what they consider to be healthy and they don't understand why they can't lose weight or why they are gaining weight when they are eating quote-unquote healthy foods Okay, and the reason why this happens is it doesn't matter how healthy you think uh, your food you're eating is. You know, what's that even mean? I'm eating healthy foods. Does that mean you're eating micronutrient dense foods? Um, or, you know, it would, I, would, I would challenge you on what you consider healthy and unhealthy foods. Um, that being said, when it comes to manipulating your body, the quantity of your food is much, 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 much more important than the quality of your food. And there are plenty of fitness people that will argue with me on this, and that's fine. We can argue, we can debate. Um, when a protein enters your body, a gram of protein is treated like a gram of protein, your body doesn't care where it came from. When a gram of carbohydrates enters your body, your body treats that gram of carbohydrate like a carbohydrate, it doesn't care where it came from. When a gram of fat enters your body, um, it treats it like a gram of fat. It doesn't care where it came from. Now, this is from a standpoint of manipulating your body, meaning gaining muscle, losing body fat. I'm not talking about all the other important things um, that go into being healthy and all this kind of fun stuff. Because, you know, if you're getting all of your carbohydrates from Pop-Tarts and from ice cream and from pizza, Yes, that's not necessarily going to be a micronutrient dense and all this kind of fun stuff. However, comma, you can manipulate your body just fine eating that kind of stuff um, if your only goal is short term weight loss, things like that. That being said, you know, somebody will be, all right, yeah, I can't understand why I can't lose weight. I'm uh, actually gaining weight, but I'm eating healthy. All right, well, what are you eating? Well, you know, I just had this salad and, you know, it had four ounces of chicken and baby spinach and broccoli, cauliflower, uh, asparagus, tomatoes, onion, and avocados and almonds. So what's the deal? That's a healthy meal. Almonds are good for you. Avocados are good for you. Uh, all the vegetables are good for you. Chicken's good for you. I don't get it. How come I'm not losing weight? And it's because if you added up the calories of that meal, um, I'll be honest with you, most of that is not calorically dense until you get to the almonds and avocado part. Um, that's extremely calorically dense. And that's why you get this mostly with ladies. Um, you know, you weigh 120, 130 pounds, you're dieting. Typically, your calories are going to be less than the average dieter just because you're a smaller person. It's just how it goes. And, you know, they can't give up avocado. I love avocado. And you don't have to give up avocado. Um, you just have to understand that if you are going to eat something that, that is that calorically dense, you're going to be replacing a lot of food that you could have ate that day because you wanted to eat that one item, which is why I don't recommend eating that one item. Um, though you can. It just means you have to eat smaller amounts of everything else. But that being said, it doesn't matter how healthy, quote unquote, you know, what kind of dressing did you use on that salad? Olive oil and vinegar. Um, you know, all of that stuff, yes, is healthy. Avocados are, quote unquote, good for you. Almonds are good for you. Vegetables are good for you. Baby spinach is good for you. Uh, chicken is good for you. Olive oil and vinegar is all good for you. Yes, true to all. However, uh, if the calories of that meal were six, seven, or 800 calories, because if you added up the olive oil, the almonds, and the avocado, all of that is going to boost your calories extremely high. It doesn't matter how healthy you think that meal was that you just ate. If you're eating too much, you're going to gain weight. So, you know, you take person A who has a maintenance level of 2,000 calories a day, and they're eating 1,800 calories or 1,700 calories a day of junk food. That person will lose weight eating Snickers bars, cheesecake, 
uh, pizza, ice cream, you name it. If they're eating 1,700 calories and their maintenance level is 2,000, they'll drop weight. However, uh, you take person B who has a maintenance level of 2,000 and they're eating chicken, tuna, shrimp, tilapia, um, you know, whey protein, all of their carb sources are like quinoa, brown rice, sweet potatoes, um, and that's all they'll eat for their, their carb sources. And then, you know, they eat tons and tons and tons of vegetables and they sparingly eat fruits because that has lots of sugar in it. However, they're eating 2,300 calories a day of this quote unquote healthy food and their maintenance level is 2,000, the healthy eater is gonna be the one that gains weight. The person that's eating like crap is gonna be the person that loses weight. It's just the way that it works. So what do I recommend? I recommend tracking and logging what it is that you eat. There's a great app called MyFitnessPal, and it makes it very, 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 very simple to track everything that you eat. If you, you know, pick up something pretty much anywhere, because I don't care what fast food restaurant, regular restaurant, uh, convenience store or grocery store that you go to, you can find the food item that you're fixing to eat in that database, right? If it has a barcode, you can scan it right on your phone and it'll look it up for you. Um, if you're going to out to eat, you can type in the name of that restaurant, the entire menu will pop up and you can start logging and tracking everything that you eat. And what ends up happening is you start to realize the true caloric amount and macronutrient and micronutrient values of the food that you're eating. And it, it's a very, very cool thing because uh, you, you'll you learn a lot. You'll start realizing, oh my God, I had no idea how many calories were in that, or I didn't realize how many few calories were in that. And you know, you can plan accordingly. And the other thing that it does is if you're tracking what you're eating and you have an idea of how many calories that you're eating every single day, you start to learn how your body responds to the calories that you're eating. So if you typically are eating 1,700 to 1,750 calories a day and you're losing weight, well, you've just learned that. If you're eating 1,700 to 1,750 a day and you're maintaining weight, now you know that that's your maintenance level. If you're eating 1,700 to 1,750 calories a day and you're gaining weight, you know that you're eating too much, even if it's healthy foods. Um, so, you know, you start developing a better relationship with food and some will argue with me, ah, 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 I've tried this whole calorie counting thing before and that causes, you know, um, it causes eating disorders. Yes, it does for mentally unstable people. It absolutely 100% does. If you are mentally unstable and very emotional and you do not have good control over your emotions, um, yeah, stay away from calorie counting. Uh, if you have a previous history of eating disorders, you might not want to try this approach. You're mentally unstable, you can't handle it, and you might do more harm than good. Uh, for the rest of you that have healthy self images that um, you know can handle um, something as simple as, I'm going to know how many calories I eat a day because it's just calories and all I'm doing is tracking how many I'm eating a day because it's, I'm just figuring out a number of how many I'm eating a day. And it's that simple in your mind and you're not emotionally attached to, I just want to see what my body does when I eat 1,600 calories day in, day out. Because there shouldn't be anything that, you know, um, a mentally stable person can do that and it's not going to affect you in a negative way, is what I'm trying to say. Um, if you start doing that, you can, like I said, you should develop a better relationship with food, not a worse relationship with food. So kind of went off on a few different topics here. A is, you know, it doesn't matter if you're eating healthy, it matters how much you're eating. B, tracking your food can be a very um, good thing because you learn, you know, a lot about the foods that you're eating. And more importantly, you learn how your body responds to it. And um, I recommend doing both. So with that, guys, hopefully this helps. Over and out, Vincent Rose, H2G Fitness. The future's bright. Something good is happening. If this video helped you in any way, shape, or form, you'd like to like and or share it. Won't be mad at you at all. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, ideas, any of these things, comment section down below. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, I'll encourage you to do so. So with that, over and out. You guys be blessed. Take care. Bye.